and welcome to GSCC Kids Junior. I am so glad that you're here. Today, we're going to hear another true story from the Bible about how Jesus wants to be your friend forever. But first, let's stand up and sing together. I know someone who makes me happy. I know someone who makes me dance. He's the reason my feet are moving. He's the reason I'm gonna lift my hands and clap, clap, clap to the sound. Jump, yeah. jump up and down. Spin, spin, spin all around. I'm singing. Someone who makes me dance He's the reason that my feet are moving He's the reason I'm gonna lift my hands And clap, clap, clap to the sound Jump, yeah. jump up and down Spin, spin, spin all around I'm singing it out One, two, three, four Jesus is the very to the clubhouse, it's me, Kai, and I'm so excited to see you today. This is going to be the best day ever. I have a brand new kite, just like my friend Zoe. We're going to meet some of our friends at the park today and fly kites together. I'm going to surprise them with a picnic. I packed all our favorite foods. I can just imagine how much fun it's going to be. I've got ham sandwiches. I like mine with mustard. 
I've got apple slices. Zoe likes the green ones the best. Oh, and I can't forget Miss Kathy Sue's sugar cookies. She always shares with us when she bakes. She's such a good friend. In juice boxes, because flying kites makes you thirsty. I can't wait to get to the park. It's the perfect day to fly a kite. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello there, Kai. Who? Who? Have a fun day plan, do you? Hi, Ollie. I sure do. Flying kites and having a picnic is going to be so much fun. I can hardly wait. Being with friends is fun. It's true. I have just the story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hi, guys. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see my latest creation? <laughs> They're my banana chocolate chip breakfast cupcakes because sometimes you can't wait for dessert. But you didn't come here for that. You came for the story and guess what? It's about breakfast too. So if you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about a breakfast that happened not long after Jesus came back. Do you remember why we celebrate Easter? It started out sad. Jesus died and was put in a tomb. But did he stay in there? No! <laughs> Jesus came back just like he said he would. It was such good news. Jesus is alive! <laughs> and one of the things he wanted to do was spend time with his friends. Now do this with me. What do you think we're doing? Are we throwing a shoe? No! What are we doing? We're fishing! That's right! And that's what Jesus' friends were doing. They were in a boat fishing early in the morning when all of a sudden... Look! <laughs> Who is that standing on the shore? Yes, it's Jesus! Jesus is alive! His friends were so excited to see him. Show me your excited face! <laughs> Good job! In fact, Peter was so excited that he jumped in the water to swim to Jesus. Let's pretend to swim to Jesus. Ready? <laughs> Very good! You can stop swimming now, we made it! And when they got to shore, Jesus was cooking breakfast. So they all sat and had breakfast with their best friend, Jesus. Jesus is alive! <laughs> he loved them so much and wanted to show them that he would always be their friend forever and ever. And do you know what? Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend too, forever and ever. How awesome is that? Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! <gasps> hey there, Ollie! Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. Better believe it. See you next time. Bye! So there's your story. It's all true. Jesus spent time with his friends on the beach. Jesus is the best friend of all. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. Jesus wanted to spend time with his friends. Jesus is the best friend anyone could ever have. I think I got this story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. 
I can't wait to hang out with my friends today and I'm going to make sure and tell them all about how Jesus is the best friend ever. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18 How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18 Today's Bible story was about how Jesus made breakfast for his friends, the disciples, on the beach. Jesus wanted his friends to know that he is alive and wants to be their friend forever. Jesus loves all of his friends, more than we can even imagine. That is why our Bible verse says, How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18 Jesus' love is so big, we can't even measure how wide or long or high or deep it is. Now it's time to have some fun. Since Jesus made breakfast for his friends, we're gonna make a list of our favorite breakfast foods today. Grab something to write with and a sheet of paper. List or draw all your favorite foods you like to eat for breakfast. Remember to share today's story with someone. Then, if you picked up a bag of April Sunday supplies from the church, you can do today's activity. You will find the instructions for the game on the parent guide for April 11th found in the April bag. If you still need to pick up your bag for April, call us at the church office. 
We hope you have so much fun as you complete your activity page and continue to talk about how Jesus wants to be your friend. Now let's pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us Jesus. He is the best friend ever. Thank you for the Bible and all of the true stories that teach us how great a friend Jesus is. We love how Jesus made fish and bread for breakfast for his friends. I pray each child here today will follow Jesus so he can be their friend forever too. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us at GICC Kids Junior today. Remember that Jesus loves you and that God is good. See you next time.